What's going on guys? Leo Pazzo TV. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today's going to be a special video as we are getting started on the 60 gallon saltwater coral reef fish tank. This is going to be a 60 gallon cube tank which measures 24 inches by 24 inches by 24 inches. We're going to be building this out of 12 millimeter glass which is half inch thick. It's polished bevel edges as you can see I have one of the panels laying in front of me on the table along with some of the tools and material that we're going to be using to build this 60 gallon tank. And I'm going to be bringing you guys along the way. So go ahead and subscribe right now if you guys haven't subscribed already. Put on those notifications so you guys can get notified for the new videos of uh, upcoming videos. So you guys already know what to do. Let's get on with this guys. Like I mentioned, we're going to be building this tank. It's a 60 gallon saltwater coral reef tank. I'm going to be drilling it on the back wall, the back pane of glass. We're going to be drilling it on the top left hand corner, two holes. One hole for a drain and one hole for the return line. Uh, the drain is going to be draining down into our sump filtration. Once it's filtered, it's going to be pumping back up to the 60 gallon tank. Moving forward, some of the tools and the material. I want to get started, um, but before I do that, I think it's very important before we even get started on the tools and this and that, we need to figure out the dimensions of the glass. That's very important guys. The dimensions of the glass are extremely important to build this properly. We're going to be building this tank injection method. Before we can even move forward, we need to stick to the basics and figure out what's what, black and white. And like I always usually say, this is my best friend, or not really my best friend, but when it comes down to measuring stuff and figuring out the math of stuff's going to fit and where it's going to be located, the measuring tape doesn't lie, numbers don't lie. So let's put it down on paper, let's draw it out visually so everyone is on the same page, how we're going to be building it, where the glass is going to be positioned, all the steps one by one, two by two. We're going to figure this out. Well, if I've already figured it out, I'm sharing it with you guys. So, I don't know, you guys might want to jot something down or you guys might want to just watch the video if you guys need to refer to anything. But enough of the talking, real talk. Let's get down to business. Okay guys, like I said, let's stick to the basics. Measuring tape. We're going to be building a tank. 24 by 24 by 24. Okay. So let's start off, I guess, let's figuring out where's the front, where's the back, where's the left, where's the right, and as well, which angle are we looking at this tank? So. So you guys can understand my drawing better. This picture diagram that I'm going to be drawing is pretty much from a bird's eye view from up above, like from where your lights are. So let's start with that. So here's the front panel, 24 inches long, 24 inches long from left to right, half inch thick. Okay. Same thing that's going to be as the back. Let's mark this front. Let's mark this one. Oh, I'm not drawing the straightest line. No big deal. This is a rough drawing. This is going to be 24 inches. Okay, this one's going to be 24 inches. Left to right, left to right, half inch thick, half inch thick. The height on all of these pieces 
are going to be 24 inches as well. But let's go figure out the sides right now. Where are these sides going to be located? Are these side panels, are they going to be going up against the front? Are they going to go in between the front and back? Well, this method that we're going to be building, which is pretty common, is to have the front and back panel be longer and to have the side panels to fit in between. So we're going to be having the side panel like so. See how it's in between the front and back. Same thing with the left side here. We're going to have half inch glass fit in between. There you go. How long are these pieces? Well, or how wide are these pieces? Well, that's a great question. Well, we need to figure out what's the whole measurement from front to back finished. Well, the whole measurement is going to be 24 inches because I said we're building a tank 24 by 24. So that means finished product from front to back, left to right, and from bottom to top needs to be 24. So if the whole thing is 24, the next thing we need to figure out how thick is the glass we're going to be using? Half inch, 0 0.5, same thing. Half inch thick glass. So let's calculate that. So the whole thing's 24. I need to take off a half inch here. I need to take off a half inch here. That leaves me with 23. Now I need to figure out how much space I'm going to be leaving for a gap for silicone. I left 1 16th gap and I made the piece, instead of it being 23, I made it at 22 point, oh sorry, not point, 22 and 7 eighths, okay? So 22 and 7 eighths, this is how wide that piece is. Because 22 and 7 eighths, right? One more eighth is gonna get me to 23, and that eighth is coming from our silicone, the thickness of our silicone which is going to be in here. Our silicone gap is going to be there. 1 16th, 1 16th equals the 1 8th, right? Our silicone, 1 8th is for the silicone. 1 8th we are considering for the silicone, uh, which equals out to 1 16th on the left side and 1 16th on the right side. So that's the right and this is the left. Hopefully you guys are uh, understanding this as I go through. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, here and there, but this is how I am explaining it. Hopefully you guys are staying with me. This piece, the right side panel is going to be the same measurement as the left side panel, which is going to be the same thing. 22 point not point, I keep on doing point, uh, 22 and 7 eighths by 24, tall. That's it, very simple. That's the left side. The right side is the same thing, 22 and 7 eighths is the right side. Done. So we got that, we got that. And the front, we already said that. The front is 24 left to right and 24 tall, simple. Okay. So now for the bottom, the inside panel, we're still missing one more panel. We have one, two, three, four. We still need one more, the inside one. So this inside panel, if you look, this inside panel is the same width as the side panel. And if you th look at it, it's sitting on the inside. It's sitting on the inside of the front and back. So what does that mean? We need to calculate the same thing. If this was, the whole thing was 24, right? We said that, and we're gonna have a half inch and a half inch, that's gonna bring us to 23. 24 is gonna bring it, take away one. We're gonna have 23, yes, very simple. And now we're gonna add 1 8 for the silicone total. Again, we're dividing that uh, 1 8 or we're, we're calculating that 1 8 from a 16th on the left and the 16th on the right. So minus uh, an eighth, so take away 1 8 gives you 22 and 7 eighths. There you go. That is going to be the measurement from here 
to here. And if you go and figure, it's actually the same measurement from here to here. So what does that mean? Our bottom piece of glass is going to do going to be 22 and 7 eighths by 22 and 7 eighths. Done. Does that make sense? Does that clarify where the panels are going to be? Maybe the next thing I need to show is where the silicone is going. The silicone is going to be going here, right? Up and down, vertical, up along the corners, right? We figured that out. And we're also going to need the silicone where? All along the bottom. So what does that mean? Silicone's going to go here, silicone's going to go here, silicone's going to go here, and silicone's going to go all here. So we got silicone going where? All around the bottom perimeter and on each outside or inside corner. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. That's the, that's the measurement. The front's 24 by 24, the back is 24 by 24, and the sides are 22 and 7 eighths by 24. The, le the left side is 22 and 7 eighths by 24. The center is actually 22 and 7 eighths by 22 and 7 eighths. So, what does that mean? We have two panels that are the same, front and back. We have two panels that are the same, left and right. Left and right, front and back. And we have one panel, which is the bottom. Done. Now, we know the thickness and measurement of glass. And the same thing applies when we are using different thickness of glass. You just got to calculate the thickness of the glass, where it's going to be positioned, the amount of silicone, and away you go. That's it. Hopefully you guys understand. I think with this, we can move forward.